when you are asked to use first principles, then it is very important that you use the first principle formula, which is this one over here. But now it's very important that you keep writing the correct notation. They, they're quite strict about this in the exams. So what you would want to say is that you would want to write it down. You would say equals to the limit as h goes to zero. And then you would write out the formula in the test like that. that. Now, for the rest of the question, guys, promise me that you will keep writing down this. So it looks like this. Equals lim h goes to zero. Just get into the habit of writing it. OK, now we need to go full uh, f of x. Now we need to full x plus h into all the x's. So that means we have x plus h squared plus 3 x plus h. Can you see what I did? I just took x plus h and I put it into both of the x's. That's all I've done so far. Then we need to move on to this part. So we say minus, then in brackets, you write out f of x. Now f of x is just that. Should actually say here f of x equals. And that's going to be x squared plus 3x and then all of that over h. Then what you want to do is, guys, please remember equals lim h goes to 0. Then you want to go multiply out the brackets. And so remember that this x plus h, there is actually two brackets over there. I'm just going to do it quickly, but it would be x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Then I'm going to multiply the 3 into its bracket, then the minus into that bracket, like that. Okay, now if you've done everything correctly, in this next step, everything that doesn't have an h should cancel. So let's see, this x squared would cancel with that minus x squared, and this 3x would cancel with that 3x. There we go. So everything that didn't have an h cancelled. That is a good thing. That's how it's supposed to happen every single time. We then say equals to lim as h goes to 0. And we write out whatever's left over, which is 2xh plus h squared plus 3h, and that's all over h. Then we keep going, equals lim, h goes to 0. Now we take out a common factor at the top of h. And so that's going to give you h in bracket 2x plus h plus 3. At the bottom, you've got h. Those h's can now cancel. When that happens, you can now let h become 0. The reason we couldn't before is because that h would have been at the bottom and you would have had a undefined. So now you can just write it out again if you would like, like this, 2x plus h plus 3. Now we don't have to say limit as h goes to 0 because now we are going to let h go to 0 like that. And our final answer would be 2x plus 3.